Hey there, Chad Barnes here for High University Libraries. If you're analyzing the automobile industry, you'll definitely want to look at these key resources I'm about to demonstrate. These resources provide excellent insight into analyzing the overall industry and looking at the industry and market as a whole. So here you go. So our first resource we're looking at here is Passport GMID. And what we're going to do is actually go up here and type in uh, motor vehicle. Uh, they don't call them automobiles, they call them motor vehicle. And you'll see there's this production of motor vehicles, trailers, and semi-trailers, ISC. That's Industry Standard Information Code Classification 34. So we click there and then click Search. This is going to go in and look for that particular report as well as other things like that. Now what I'm looking for here is um, this right here, this motor vehicles, trailers, and semi-trailers, this industry overview from last November. These are updated about every year to 18 months or so. And this gives you a nice overview of the industry. This is just U.S. only here. Um, but you can see it gives you, you know, headlines, market trends, you know, things like that, um, uh, production trends, all this kind of stuff. So uh, competitive landscape, prospects. And if we go down, you can see it gives you a nice industry overview, uh, lots of charts and graphs and things like that, and, and information about the sectors and things like that. So overall, probably about a 40 to 50 page report uh, once you print it out. Good resource to look at uh, for that this particular industry. Another place to look for um, information is under the Countries and Consumer, Consumer Trends and Lifestyle section here. And once we get to the page, click on cons Consumers, uh, consumer Trends and Lifestyles. You get to this page here and you'll see that there is um, uh, this all analysis. We're going to go to Consumer Lifestyles and then we're going to select our geography. In this case we're just going to do um, USA here and then click Go. Uh, this gives us a nice resource to look at for analyzing uh, consumer preferences and things like that. Now this is all kinds of buying behavior and things like that. What I'm looking at in particular is, is that things that pertain directly to the autom automobile industry and transportation in general. So you'll see there's a nice little uh, commuting section here, okay, that talks about commuting, things like that, to work. And if we scroll down, uh, fashion, health, smoking, shopping, leisure, travel, okay, there's this whole travel habits section here that will talk about American consumers love their cars, et cetera, et cetera, and all kinds of information that talk about car travel. Uh, things like that, use of public transport, air travel, things like that. So a great resource uh, while you're in here looking at the other report to check out as well to give you some more information about um, consumer preferences when it comes to driving. One source has some great resources as well for the automobile industry. To get into one source, just click on one source here. And once you're in here, if you go over under industries and just type in automobile um, or your NAICS code if you want to do that, you'll see if you scroll down you'll eventually see your next code. Just click there. We'll take us into the automobile manufacturing industry uh, section within here and you'll see there's all kinds of market research reports uh, within here. Uh, if I can, what I like to do is see if there's these Fredonia focus reports. And I, I find that these are probably some of the best re reports you find within one source here. And if there's some that are available, you'll see there's one for Motor Vehicles United States from this past September. And these are nice 25-30 page reports that will give you things uh, that talk about motor vehicles, in this case the U.S., and gives you things like uh, forecast, trends, um, you know, segmentation, trade, things like that. So it's a nice report, about 25, 30 pages in length, to give you an additional source uh, to, to complement the ones that are often used, like uh, IBIS World and things like that. Mergent Online has some awesome reports for the automobile industry. To get to those, what you can do is click on Report Search, and you'll see there's a link to industry reports here. And then what you can do is go down and click on automotive and then go down and click search at the very bottom. Now what this will give you, the, the nice thing about, um, the, about Mergent is they have reports for Asia Pacific, North America, Latin America, and Europe. And to get to those, just click on the PDF there and it will actually uh, download the report for you. And once you open it up here, you can see it's a substantial report um, that gives you all kinds of information similar to what you find in um, uh, the S&P reports and other, other places like that. In this case, this particular report for North America, um, uh, these got updated about every six months to a year or so, and uh, looks like um, this one's 36 pages, covers all the things you'd, you'd expect, you know, the current environment, trends, a nice profile, things like that, market outlook, things like that. So a great resource to look at in addition to some of the other tools we've already looked at in this video.
Finally, the S&P industry surveys are extremely valuable for this research. If you go under the S&P publication search, you'll see a nice industry survey box here. And you can see there is a autos and auto parts section. Clicking there will take you to uh, the auto and auto parts section. Um, these are updated every six months or so. And you can see covers your industry trends. These average about uh, 30 to 50 pages, depending on the industry, and give you a nice snapshot of the current environment trends, how the industry operates, and things like that. There's also substantial downloadable company data that you can get uh, Excel files, things like that for co company financials. Basically, all this comparative company analysis you can get in downloadable Excel format as well. If you want a PDF version of this, you can actually click on PDF there and get uh, the PDF version of the report as well, particularly if you're going to print it out, a little bit easier to look at and read. Hopefully this helps you better find information to analyze the automobile industry. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.